Hey guys, my name is Wilson. Today's video is on how do you build a community for your Amazon FBA business from scratch. If you're selling on Amazon, this video is for you. We're talking about basically how do you build asset outside of Amazon. A lot of times you know for a fact that if you're suspended and all your eggs is in the Amazon basket, then your whole business is wiped out, which is the reason why it's so important for us to be able to build asset, a community, a brand outside of Amazon and only view Amazon as a distribution tool. By you doing that, you can actually not compete your product as a commodity. You can start demanding premiums on your product. You can start demanding brand loyalty to your product as well, which is why it's so important to be able to build a brand outside of Amazon, something that you can own, something in the future that you can sell. And by us doing that, we need to be able to create our own community, people that love and would die for our brand. And today, this video is all about how do you create that community that would love your brand. The way to create a community of diehard fans for your brand and your product is to first understand your customers, to understand who you're serving to. A lot of times as Amazon FBA sellers, our focus is to rank on page one. Our focus is on keyword. Our focus is to make sure that we have sales velocity. But if you're trying to create a community off of Amazon, it is super important for you to understand who you're serving. I'll give you an example. If we're selling eye drops, we can easily be selling the eye drops to a mother who is working in an office environment nine, uh, seven days a week, or we could be selling this same eye drop to an e-gamer who's looking at their screen 14, 15 hours on a daily basis. Just because it could be the same eye drops that we're, we're selling them doesn't mean that we communicate it with these two different customers differently. We need to understand what their pain points are. We need to understand what they're really trying to achieve, whether it be ultra focused, um, not getting tired, for the e-gamer or something that's just to protect their eyes for the mom that is working in the office environment. We need to make sure that we understand who we're serving and thus we can package the product differently, we can communicate the product differently and we can understand, we can show the customers that we understand them by understanding who we're serving. That is super important. A lot of people actually skip this step because they think it's not necessary because they think that the focus is on the keyword research and to rank on page one. If you are to create a community, you need to understand specifically who you're serving and to be able to communicate that to your customers. Now that you have identified the people you want to serve, you need to let them know what makes you different. Why are you on this journey? Why do they buy from you? And that is to determine your brand values and your brand story. So many times, if you're just selling on Amazon, no one really cares for your product, no one cares for your brand. Why are they trying to pay a premium just to support you? They would not do that. It is very different than a brand that has a brand story. If I were to tell you that I recently undergone surgery um, because my eyes were being too tired, I didn't take care of my eyes, and now I cannot stare at the computer, computer for more than an hour, and I had to forgo my career as an e-gamer. That's the reason why I developed this eye drop. So then that way it can protect my eyes from getting too dry, and that way I can prolong my career as an e-gamer. If I were to have that story behind the eye drop that I'm serving and communicate this story to the e-gamer, that is much stronger as a pull to that e-gamer. That is much stronger reason for this e-gamer to pay 20% premium just to support my cause because they truly understand what I'm going through. Now that's a hypothetical situation. I'm not an e-gamer, but I'm just showing you the power it would have to have a brand story behind your product because that's where you're going to be able to have premiums for your product and to be able to demand brand loyalty is to create a story an authentic story that you can stand behind for your brand story and your brand value in the section below i also have different questions that have helped you create your brand story and your brand value then that way you can communicate this to the people you want to serve and in turn create a community that would love your products. So now that you have your customers figured out, now that you have the story behind why people should back you up, the third way 
To create a community is to give them value. So many businesses out there are looking for that one-off kill. They're looking for that transactional uh, relationship to have with their customer. So they would offer them something like a 10% off, 15% off, buy one, get one free. These are all things that do not promote a community forming. A lot of times when you're able to understand your customers and their desires, you can communicate that to them by giving them value. That value actually changes depending on who you are serving. So for example, for an e-gamer, something that is of value for them is resources that would give them better responsive time, better focus, better performance, better rest. These are all things that they would truly value. And when you can create these different resources and provide these resources to your customers, then in turn, they're gonna develop that trust with you and you're gonna be able to nurture this relationship with them. Whether it be creating a lead magnet, which is like something like top five superfoods for uh, resting, so then that way you can have better response time. You can create that as a PDF and then that way the e-gamers can download it from your website and in turn you can start nurturing them within your email sequence or it could be in a forum whether it be a Facebook group where they can congregate and share different resources on better re response time or it could be a social media regardless of where it is you need to understand where your customers are pooling where are they hanging out and you've got to be there you've got to be leading them within where they hang out and at the end of the day this will allow you to create the raving fans which would always back you up, buy from you, and have that brand loyalty. So there you go, the three ways to create a community for your Amazon FBA business. Number one is to understand who you're serving, understand their pain points, understand the language that you need to speak to them with to gain their trust. Second thing is to have your brand story, something that is authentic to you. Why did you create this brand? Why should they? follow you and the third is to give them value value so then that way they can gain that trust again over and over again to nurture them at where they hang out whether it be an email list or whether it be a Facebook group whether it be your social media wherever they hang out you need to be there and give them value and that's how you're gonna be able to create this type of raving fan so then that way you're not just competing on amazon as an amazon seller you're creating a brand that has asset that you can sell in the future that you can scale that you can have brand loyalty which is the reason why it's so important to create a community so many people think that creating millions of followers is the way to go for community at the end of the day it doesn't matter those are just vanity metrics it is so much more important to have 10,000 raving fans that love your brand and that itself is how you create a community for your brand if you like this video subscribe if you want have any questions leave in the comment section below otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video that are urgent so we're that are yes so not urgent tasks Switch it off. Switch it off? Finish it off. Yeah, five, right? Yeah. The five tips. Yeah, five tips. Fourth is to... Okay, let's, let's redo that. No, you're just good. Just go four. Okay. Do this. You know what? Oh, sh You were on a roll. I was on a roll, right? You were on a roll. So do this. You okay. can just go back to... Now, how do you do this? Okay, now do I, how do you do it? How do you do it? One is to have an email sequence. All right, okay. Now, how do you actually do that? The number one. Uh, now, how do you do that? And to be able to communicate that to your customers. Still in circles, right? A little bit, but how do you round it off and just talk about the resource below? No. Right, that's true. Yeah, I, yeah, okay, let's redo that. Okay. In three, two, one. So there you go. The top three ways. No. So there you go. The three ways to. One. Okay. Yeah. The 
the second point in getting Amazon reviews. Is that good or no good? Or am I just going in circles? Uh, I'm sort of going in circles. Oh, shit. people can be influenced by peers to adopt certain behaviors. Okay. Is that you're gonna be able to? Ooh. Okay, let's redo that. Okay.